Now I want to show you another way to work with keywords. So over in this panel where we have the metadata that we've been just working on and cleaning up and getting rid of the clutter, beside that you're going to see there's a tab for keywords. I'm going to click on that right now and you can see that Adobe is giving us keywords already. And you can see that when I click on this image here it says assign keywords, this and that. So Adobe is giving us some starting points to come in here and work with as far as keywords are concerned. So under events, well, they've given us generic birthday, graduation, and weddings. Under people, they gave us two names. Places, they've given us half a dozen locations and other keywords and all this other kind of stuff. So this is user created. This is application created. So now what I want to do is show you that you can actually change this because if you don't know Matthew and Ryan, like I do, then you might as well not have their names in here. So what if I was to actually click on that and do a control click, right click, whatever, and choose to rename this. So I could rename this Caitlin, and then what I could do is come over here and rename this one to Robin, and so on and so forth. Okay, I could come over here and I could right click on these guys and create a new sub keyword. So let's come in here and now I'm going to, there's Andrea, and I'm going to do one last one for my traveler, Samantha. There you go. So I've got these people all set in here. So that's how you can actually add to these guys. And you know that if I come over here, I can choose to rename this from people to, you know, offspring or whatever. Uh, places, again, the same thing. You can come in and rename them, have a grand old time. I think I want to show you something that is what I believe to be really amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the options menu over here in the upper right hand corner of the keywords panel and I'm going to click and hold on that and you can see that you can create a new sub or new keyword. New keyword would be down here. So let's say I came in here and created a new keyword and that would be sports. So you see I've created a new keyword at that level. I can now come in and create a sub keyword which would be hockey. I can rename, delete, expand all, collapse all, which just means all this stuff in here. I can start finding stuff, searching for things and finding things based on certain criteria. And I can remove keywords. I can import keywords. I can clear and import or I can export. So in order for me to show you what these two guys are all about, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to export. And I'm going to export this that's already here. And I'm just going to call this one default keywords. I'm just going to put it on the desktop, wherever that happens to be for me. There you go. I'm going to put that on the desktop. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide bridge and I'm going to come over to my desktop. Here it is. And I'm just going to double click on that. And it should open up the text editor and open up this guy. And now we can take a look at this. Now, what we're going to do is we're looking at the keywords that are right aligned along the left side here. If I decide that I want to add more to the sporting thing, well, you can see all I have to do is this. Well, let's say I wanted to change something else and put something else down here. Sporting, what else would I be interested in shooting? How about models? They're always interesting to shoot. And then I can come over here and I can start plugging in the names of some of the models. So model name one, and then come over here and model name two, so on and so forth. All right, because I don't want, I mean, I could just start at Betty and Jane and all that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll just do that. So here we go, Betty and Jane, and then Joey, whoops, Joey, tab them in. The tab gives you the subcategory, tab them in, and uh, M-I-K-I-E, Mikey. All right, so there we go. Now, if I wanted to add in to these guys for the hockey, I can come in here, or not hockey, but sports, and I could put in here R-O-D-E-O-S, rodeos, tab. So now with the rodeos, if I wanted to, I could put down Add locations, so I could put down Orangeville, Orangeville Rodeo, tab, tab, Aaron, Fairgrounds, tab, tab, and uh, K-I-T-C-H, Kitchener, I guess, I don't know. 
Anyways, you're starting to get the idea. So I can start putting this kind of stuff inside here. So now under Andrea, I could come in here and tab a couple and I can uh, type in Quinton and then I can come in here and type in Miles. So there you go. So those are her offspring and all this kind of stuff, but they're people that I know and they're in there related, grouping them and all that kind of stuff. All I have to do now is save the document, close it, come back into Bridge, and from up here, I can choose to import or import and clear. So I'm just going to choose the import and move on. So there you go. I want to import this and importing and clear would get rid of anything that's not on here. So I'm just going to choose to open this. Now you can see that I have models and I have their names if I work with these specific models. And then here are the daughters and there are the offspring. This one's going to have an addition. We just haven't heard what the new name is going to be yet. Okay. And then uh, change your cities, add your sports. In here, I've got the different locations where the rodeos go. So you can see how valuable this can be and why I think it's a great idea that before you go out on a location, just do a Google search for that location and grab a paragraph of text, put it in the Microsoft Word document. Also, if you're going not only for that location, but a specific event at that location, then go ahead and grab that and then create some keywords and possibly just add them into the existing file here.